hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Anchoa and I hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support and welcome back so I've had quite a number of requests to do my top 10 fragrances some have requested for me to do my top 10 Middle Eastern fragrances and that video is coming however I wanted to do a top 10 for life you know video Throughout my life here on YouTube, I have never done the top 10 for life and I thought about it and it felt, you know, right, the time feels right for me to do a top 10. This top 10 is not going to be limited to Middle Eastern fragrances only, but I have included all categories of fragrances that I have, including niche and designer. So it was quite a difficult, you know, a daunting task for me to sort of, you know, bring out my top 10 for life, you know. I mean, a lot of people do these videos and I see them constantly saying, okay, if I should do this video next two months, next three months, the list is going to change and i totally agree with them you know however these 10 that i have here i have tested them i have tried them they are not super new to my collection with the exception of one or two which are quite you know um new and even that it's about four three months you know in my collection but i felt strongly adding these fragrances to my top 10 um fragrances for life I considered so many factors why these fragrances would make my top 10 and for me i considered the wow factor about these fragrances how sentimental some of them are to me how much i really love these fragrances you know because i've tried and tested most of these fragrances for years and i also considered the compliments i get from these fragrances and how these fragrances make me feel whenever i wear fragrances they really should do something to me you know they should evoke an emotion make me feel comforted um, make me feel beautiful you know there should be something that you know i should get from the fragrances i don't wear fragrances just for the sake of wearing it so because of what these fragrances you know mean to me and have done for me that is why they made my top 10 so the first one is going to be an honorable mention i couldn't have done this video without mentioning mugles aura it is not new to my collection at all i think it's one of the um longest i have had in my collection you know just even before i started my fragrance channel i got this fragrance i think i walked into one of these department stores it was there it was quite um affordable and i picked it up you know knowing or anticipating it's going to be a, a polarizing one and when i really tested this fragrance out it didn't really quite come across to me as polarizing i loved it from day one yes i can understand the facts you know that it is quite different but to me, I love this one, honestly. It was my introduction to rhubarb. I didn't know what rhubarb was, you know. So I tried to pick up the rhubarb, you know, when I got this one. Plus other complex, you know, complicated notes in this one. I appreciate the delicious vanilla, you know, especially at the dry down. It is beautiful. It might take you, you know, a little while to get to that beautiful dry down. But if you're a diehard fan of Mugla fragrances, you know they're not going to be anything super simple. Especially, you know, the older, you know, um, fragrances. So this one was very um revolutionary to me i was new to a lot of revolutionary fragrances but as soon as i smelled it i felt totally in love and it is going to be my honorable mention aura by um mugler to me nothing comes quite close to eternal max by paris corner i think i have um juliet has a gun not a perfume it gives me similar nuances but think about juliet has a gun make it more musky a little more gourmand you know creamy a little lactonic gourmand and um a little fresh and clean and that is when you get eternal max this is super sensual it doesn't come across as sexy to me you know it doesn't give me anything in your face um come hither sexy seductress it gives me very sensual comforting something that you want to cuddle with without being offensive that is what this one gives me and as a fragrance on its own it is very demure and sometimes you know i like my gentle demure you know fragrances so number 10 is going to be eternal now max by paris corner at the ninth position is going to be a fragrance i fell in love about a year ago i remember sampling this fragrance and i was super wild about it you know it was very inexpensive too and this is going to be roses the emotion by fa paris this is super beautiful you know when we talk about being pretty or something smelling pretty this is the you know pinnacle of smelling pretty it gives me very pretty vibes it has a very soft gentle roses you know i feel like let's imagine or i have never been to a rose field before but in my head um imagining going to a rose you know field 
full of notes and very pretty, soft, gentle, pink, you know, roses. I remember some few years ago, Jacques Mousse did this um, fashion show in a field, you know, in a, in a flower field. The scenery was to die for very beautiful, gentle, elegant, you know, full of, you know, um, flowers, you know, I could just imagine how the place smelled like and that is the, the vibes that Roses the Emotion gives me, you know, it gets a very gentle sort of Roses the Maya sort of um, um, roses, you know, to it. Some watery, aquatic, musky, floral vibes. That is what essentially this one gives me, you know, it is very gentle. It also comes across as clean to me, you know, this kind of um, clean girl sort of, you know, aesthetic vibes. It doesn't give me anything sexy, you know, but I love the fact that it gives me pretty, girly, not even girly per se, you know, girly feels a little um, young, but this one is just pretty. If there's anything to symbolize pretty when it comes to fragrances, it's going to be Rose's the Emotion, and that is why it made my number nine. At the eighth position is going to be Not Star Quad by Paris Corner. I think this I have spoken about severally, and it's been compared to Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. I did a comparison and I will link it in the description if you have not seen that. To me, it doesn't really smell like Afternoon Swim to me. To me, I think it is a better version of Afternoon Swim. Without being disrespectful to Louis Vuitton, I think this is a better option. You know, this one gives me something much more of that Afternoon Swim vibes. You know, it smells much more of Afternoon Swim than the actual Afternoon Swim fragrance, you know. In my head that is how i see it honestly and it's so refreshing you know it is nothing complicated it's very simple mandarin orange um a light ginger touch to it you know zesty sort of you know fanta the ordinary ordinary fanta that we drink i always refer to it as that because that is what essentially it gives me very simple fragrance you know very excellent for every day it could simply be a signature scent for office for the weekend it's like a weekend party sort of you know scent and just some few days ago my sister gave me a bunch of joe malone fragrances and it included lime basil and mandarin cologne and as soon as i sprayed this it immediately reminded me of north star to me i think north star is much more closer to um joe malone's lime basil and mandarin than the original you know um afternoon swim that is being compared to you know so if you have mandarin um lime basil and mandarin by joe malone you can do that comparison they are very very close in my opinion you know this is about maybe 90 percent close as compared to the original afternoon swim i could wear this everywhere and i'll still stand out you know although it's not super room filling it also has a presence you know the lasting power is quite abysmal but i mean you can always overspray you can always top up i don't find anything wrong with that i prefer to even overspray even when I still smell uh, my fragrances, I prefer to top them up, you know. So I don't have any issue with overspraying and um, topping up these fragrances. So um, North Star Quad is going to be my number eight. Number seven is a fragrance I have hardly spoken about on this channel. I've had this for a little over a year. I picked this thing randomly, you know, I wasn't really looking out for it. I went to a chemist shop, you know, of all places. I went to a chemist shop and i just found some fragrances there i decided to pick it because it was from ysl this is called cinema and i've been super impressed by this fragrance this one doesn't give me anything ultra sexy va -va -voom. no not at all you know it's supposed to be this very um what people would normally refer to as spring vanilla you know it has vanilla but not like uh, a very thick resonance um rich vanilla but you still get a very um moderate vanilla you know feel in this one coupled with clementine or tangerine you know tangerine and this fragrance feels super gorgeous to me you know it's like very elegant very you know bougie it's like that sort of woman you take your time to approach you know on their face value you know there's nothing super special about it you know but you get close to her or you get close to this fragrance and it has layers upon layers you know and each layer is very beautiful you know you go through the vanilla face it is beautiful the floral face it is beautiful the um tangerine you know face it is beautiful like it's not like um super in your face everything is meshed so beautifully you get you know traces of all the elements in it the clementine the vanilla the florals it is beautiful this is what i would define as gorgeous you know very sophisticated elegant it is something that you can easily wear to a wedding an upscale bridal sort of party like um an upscale baby shower you know something upscale it needs to be something upscale but nothing too much honestly because it gives me this very polished yet elegant and you no know, gorgeous it's like 
simply gorgeous that is how you know i can just describe um why i sell cinema you know it is nothing too complicated and that is what i love about this you know in as much as i love my heavy complicated fragrances some of these fragrances you know have really done it for me and i also pull some of these fragrances out when i want to feel super special because trust me not a lot of people are going to smell like you because it's not like the every single day um scent profile generic or overly complicated woods and you know animalic nothing nothing like like that at all you know it's it's in a class of its own you know so this is my number seven when it comes to my top ten for life number six is going to be Madawi gold by Arabian house they come across as one of the pricey you know Middle Eastern houses but to me I think they are worth it you know considering the quality of fragrances that you know um, I've experienced from the house I have just three Arabian wood fragrances in my collection and I love them all you know they give me something a little above the the normal ones you know that we normally go for although those ones are you know also in a class of their own arabian wood has a way of you know bringing some sophistication to their fragrances and madawi has always been a classy one to me it is a sweet fruity floral fragrance but it's not overly sweet you don't get much of that piercing uh overdone sweet or sugary you know overly ultra feminine vibes in this one it's like the right amount of the vanilla the right right amount of that pineapple that i get in this it is super well blended it doesn't have any squishy scratchy you know mess around it at all there's nothing there's nothing negative i will attribute to this fragrance at all not in my books in my books this one is a 10 over 10 it gives me compliments it also gives me feminine but nothing like girly girly you know that kind of vibes it doesn't give me that at all it is like a very matured yet very wearable fragrance for all ages you know even all gender if you're a man who is not afraid to smell delicious i would highly recommend mandawi and this is at my sit position if i should ever run out of 10 of these fragrances there are so many of them that i think i will replace so the sit position is going to be mandawi gold by arabian wood the next fragrance is a fragrance i didn't want to fall into the hype i had heard so many good things you know and at some point i was so skeptical i thought it was you know the usual hype so i decided to get a sample i think i got about 20 samples from scent plate and included um blanche bet and when i tried out those 20 samples blanche bet was the one that really stood out to me you know the samples that i got on that day included mula 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 caramel Bianco Latte, um, La Capital, which one? A host of them. These were all some fancy hyped up fragrances, but as soon as I sprayed um, Blanche Bex the sample, I immediately, you know, ordered for a full bottle, and that was how come I got to own a full bottle of Blanche Bex. For the scent profile, I don't have anything like this in my collection at all, and that is one of the reasons why I really wanted to have a full bottle. It doesn't smell like anything I have. It is lactonic, um, chocolatey, milky, with some tuberose, and I don't have anything in that, you know, scent family at all however i found very little occasions to wear this fragrance because i feel like i need something super special you know i'm just trying to justify why i'm not using this you know but i feel like i need some very high you know classy sort of you know events to be able to really wear this one without wasting it you know I, and that's how i feel about it i feel like it needs something quite special i know it can be worn for every day you know because it is nothing too complicated i think um some few months ago i was moving from columbus to accra i wore it you know that was my sense of the day i wore it moved from columbus to um jfk and then to accra I spent about 17 or 18 hours you know throughout the period of the travel when i got to accra the immigration uh one of the officers was like you smell so good you know she complimented me after about 18 hours of wearing this fragrance it was still very present someone could smell me you know to the point that she gave me some compliments and i don't like it just because i got some compliments but because when i tried a sample it spoke to me it smelled different i'm not like necessarily a fan of like a lot of lactonic fragrances sometimes they turn my stomach if they are not done right but this one the sample didn't do that to me the full bottle that i have here it doesn't do that to me you know i think i've worn it out on two occasions after the airport thing and every single time i wear it you know it feels like serious it feels like it lasts me the whole day i feel like I need to be in my best behavior you know those kind of fragrances that you wear you need to dress a certain way to go with it you need to be in your best behavior to go with it and that is going to be blanche bet at my number five number four is going to be dal al shuyuk by dal al khalij i think i've said so many things about this fragrance 
this particular fragrance reminds me of nebras honestly it does remind me of nebras by latafa but this is like the more stronger much more potent much more better much more long lasting much more intense version of nebras i may come across as always you know sort of putting nebras down for one reason or the other there's nothing wrong with nebras you know the fragrance is beautiful i understand why a lot of people love it but when i got to try nebras it didn't really speak to me and then i i smelled um that ash yuk and it was a totally you know different thing you know to me it, it really spoke to me because it smells very delicious you know it doesn't have berries like um nebras does yeah i think those are the only difference um, Nebras has berries, whilst well, this one doesn't have. But this one has some um, spicy bergamot at the beginning. You know, it feels like a bit citrusy, but not like the quintessential citrus, you know, fragrance. I don't know how they did it, but they were able to blend in the citrus with the chocolate and the um, vanilla and the coffee. It is a true gourmand in every aspect, you know. And sometimes gourmand fragrances can be a little annoying, especially when they smell like literal food. And, you know, you have them on for a few hours. You just want to, you know, get them off you because they begin to get annoying. This one doesn't, you know, get me in that, you know, territory. It doesn't annoy me. Even if, it's, even if I have it on for the whole day, you know, which it does last the whole day, it doesn't annoy me even in the high heat you know in the sun i will not advise wearing it you know outside in the heat but maybe in an ac condition but it doesn't really annoy me it's not cloying you know it is sweet it is very feminine you know it is very potent long lasting it gives me a very sexy you know it's like sexy in your face sort of vibes you know um I don't know but that is the vibes this one gives me and when i think about gourmands you know in my collection this is one of my favorite gourmands you know i think there are recent um fragrances that i have you know gathered that i feel can compete with some of these fragrances but i wanted to be true to myself and feature fragrances i have had like for a long time that i have experienced for like so many times to really say i love them that much to make my top 10 for life you know i think maybe if i should do this list in the next three months some of these ones will be kicked out and some of my newer fragrances you know can replace them but for now i love these fragrances so i think if i should ever run out of this fragrance i would definitely replace it and that is how much i love dal al shuk by dal al khalij Third on this list is going to be December Vanilla by Paris Coda. This one is super special to me, you know, because it gives me something quite sentimental. I remember when KLE's um, version came out some, I think, a year and a half or two, almost two years ago. I remember sampling that fragrance and I instantly fell in love, you know, with that fragrance. There are a few KLE fragrances that, you know, really speak to me. And that includes um, Sugar Patchouli and then um, Diamond Pink Pepe. Those two, I really, really enjoy, you know. So... I saw it, you know, it was always um, out of stock. Not that I wanted to pick up a full bottle, but I was like, you know what? I love it, but I didn't want to just pick up um, a full bottle because I thought it was quite, you know, expensive. At that time, that would have been the only KLE I would have bought, you know, if I really wanted, you know, a KLE fragrance because it really did speak to me. But I never did, you know, moved on, got other, you know, fragrances. And when December Vanilla was advertised as a dupe for that, I was super curious and I picked it up. And honestly, it's not disappointed me at all, you know. I'm grateful to have this bottle. Somehow, I understood people who didn't fall in love with Sugar Patchouli, but I did. Just that I never had any full bottle of KLE. So when I picked this one, I was super pleasantly surprised you know and happy with my purchase and that is how i feel about a lot of my dupes i know it's a great feeling to have original bottles you know um, support the brand but sometimes i find some of the dupe houses you know satisfying my curiosity and you know sometimes some of these fragrances you get them you wear it after a year and you know you move on to something else so i guess for like why can't I get a dupe instead of the OG? You know, it doesn't, it, it might not make sense to a lot of people, but that is um, part of my thinking process when I'm getting some of these fragrances. So number three is going to be December Vanilla. My number two and number one, I can just, you know, interchange them and it will make a lot of sense to me. You know, these fragrances are not Middle Eastern fragrances. They are actually niche fragrances, which give me Middle Eastern vibes because they all have, they both have oud. They are both, you know, um, oud, woody, 
you know patchouli the sort of you know middle eastern they give me quintessential middle eastern vibes between these two i think i'm just going to go ahead and make um asa by tiziana Terenzi my number two simply because the number one means so much to me you know the number one has a sentimental um value to me and i'll share that with you this one is super special to me you know this is my second bottle of asa you know if you have been on this channel you know i've replaced my asa the first one i have i had it for about two years i thoroughly enjoyed asa this fragrance i have cherished for a long time honestly it gives me something very rich you know rich in the sense of literal rich you know when i smell this fragrance it just reminds me of a rich person you know i don't know in my head i guess for it, it screams a rich person to me you know however there is quite a complexity to it you know it might not be appreciated by a lot of people who are not used to complicated and um middle eastern oriental style um fragrances that is how this one smells to me it also has something quite delicious you know like a, a sort of little gourmand touches to it you know it is very beautiful honestly if i should run out of asa again i will buy it again you know that is how much i love it it is very potent it fills up your room it makes a present it is like highly complimented if i intentionally want to fish out for compliments this is one of the fragrances i'll pull out you know because i know one is going to last me the whole day it's going to give me that compliment i think it would lean masculine to a lot of noses which are new to oriental style udi you know middle eastern type fragrances but to me it is perfectly unisex you know i like the the whole vibe of this fragrance honestly it puts me in the mind of a very confident person if i really want to exude confidence I want to come across as you know i know what i'm doing you know and make a presence asa by tiziana terence is one fragrance that i'll pull out and it had to be my number two it could have been my number one you know but as number one i love this fragrance for so many reasons because it was my first ever niche fragrance i ever got and that is going to be alexander the second by zeshoff you know my first ever niche um fragrance whatsoever and i got this fragrance in full price you know it was quite new when I got it and I got it in full price. That is how much I love this fragrance. It has some of the most beautiful, gentle, elegant oods I have come across. It's very, you know, smooth. From the one, it was like excellent. There was nothing rough about it, you know, um, powdery, that lavender powdery oud combination i think it has um one of the finest um ouds. i've forgotten the name of the oud i will just write it somewhere here but it's very beautiful you know it's quite versatile from um black tie events to church to like you know upscale sort of you know everyday events and that is how i love this fragrance you know so much so these are 10 fragrances very different from each other these fragrances do not smell alike in any way i guess for like if i should lose my entire collection today and i get to keep these 10 including the honorable mention i'm just going to be sorted because i can think about vanilla i get it in this one i can think about ooze i have them i, I can think about freshies mask um fruits i get them you know in these 10 fragrances so with these 10 i'm sorted you know so yeah that is going to be my top 10 for life and these are like um the all-encompassing middle eastern niche and designer so these are my top 10 for life i think if i should do this video in the next three or four months a lot of them might change you know maybe some new fragrances that i'm really loving currently might be part of it but there are some that i will constantly forever have as my top 10 for life so let me know in the comment section your top 10 fragrances for life did you get some of these ones right? I bet you did because I have spoken a lot about some of these fragrances and I also bet you some of these fragrances, at least one or two, were quite a surprise to you. So that is all I have for you today and I hope this video found you well. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate that. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye.